Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today for part 40 for the Italian Grand Prix. We're back again with a little bit of live commentary, so here it is. Don't drop it and we're off for free advertising board. Someone behind us. We have given a lovely tow to up to the line. We're slower than the TV, but we did make that big mistake. What are you doing? Little liars. What? That's what you're doing, you're putting me in the wall. Oh, it's a Mercedes. Twenty-seven five Lando said twenty-seven one. I said twenty-nine five. Is it a twenty-eight eight? And then another twenty-nine three. And this set twenty-eight two. But we were going sideways out of the chicane. Right, let's try not to go over the advertising board this time. Look at the time. Look at it, it's beautiful. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Still, still. Only know that one point two seconds. to Lando. Four turns off in sector one. That's literally just the first corner. Here we oh, two turns off in sector two. Sector three. We're attacking half half a second down in the final sector. Are you mad? the back of a fantastic qualifying session it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside as we continue through the rest of the grid today we have Sonoda, Sainz, Max Verstappen and Hamilton, Gasly, Russell, Magnussen and Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Alex Albon, Brown, Joe, Latifi, Lance Stroll, and Robert Schwartzman. Ocon, and Mick Schumacher. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. So it was a very wet and interesting qualifying. We haven't got the best starting place, and I don't think we've got the best setup either, but if we're going to be doing a one-stop, starting on the mediums onto the hards, Fortunately, there's no live commentary for the race as the file corrupted. But here we go then for the Italian Grand Prix. And we are racing in Monza. And we have got an okay start for once. But the second phase isn't particularly good with him beaten up by the our Aston Martin as we are going to go full send into the first corner. Gain a couple of places side by side. With our former teammate Fernando Alonso, try and get him on the exit as we go through the curve of Grande. Side by side, can we get the job done on Fernando? He just stays ahead of us. We turn into the slipstream and do the old switcheroo down the inside, nearly collect the back of that Alpha Tauri. But we are past the Alpine and now can we get after those in front? We've definitely got the car, 
We definitely need to, if we want to keep our championship hopes alive, we're coming off the back from a win. We've got some momentum, but Fernando Alonso, like a bullet, passed us side by side, and he is through, and I can't defend that whatsoever. Now through the first of the country, we're going to look at why we go over the gravel, nearly hit the advertising board, and like qualifying when we very much did, and now behind, and this is Sergio Perez who's had a terrible qualifying after getting caught out in the rain and he goes straight around the outside of Albon in the Williams and it's just not fair is it, look at the state of that, no chance defending the Red Bull don't even think he was out of first gear there and he just left us for dust and now he can get after Fernando Alonso uh, but up front, this is something we need to watch because we are just three points behind Science coming into this race and he is currently P2 and it is a Ferrari 1-2 here at Monza, exactly what the defense he wants. But this is Albon, we had no straight line speed, I had so much downforce on and it was unreal but Albon trying to go around the outside we forced him a little bit wider and he does go over to it with Magnussen and Magnussen does, doesn't get the job done as the two halves, he's trying to go wheel to wheel and Piastri gets caught out by his teammate let's go straight on and now he's a sitting duck as the two Aston Martins, it's Latifi heading them and Latifi around the outside at the Parabolica and he's made Oscar Piastri looked very stupid there, you can't be overtaken by Latifi right around your outside. There's, they're still battling behind, but can Piastri redeem himself? He pulls the inside, into turn one, into the first chicane. Piastri, can he retake the position from Latifi and save his bacon? Yes, he can. And he is through and stays ahead and now this is Gasly following Fernando Alonso he runs a little bit wide and now caught catches out Pierre Gasly who's had to back off massively and that's made Gasly come under pressure from Sergio Perez and Perez steamroll right around the outside the sister team very much doesn't want to get in the way of that Red Bull and we are just in no man's land here, just on our own, we were just about keeping those behind, just in front. But this is the battle for B2 as Charles Leclerc is getting away. Lando fighting one handed here, we are out of it completely. As Lando pulls to the outside to try and go around the outside, he has the inside line. But Sainz gets him on the exit and stays ahead for now. But Max Verstappen in the background is there lingering. If there's any scraps, one lap later, here comes Lando again. He's on the outside, he's going to try it again. Is it second time lucky for him? Looks like he's gone a little bit deep, but that may have saved him as he tries his hardest. No, that going deep has not worked for him. And he's going to lose out now to Max Verstappen, who's side by side through the curve of Grande. It's and now Max gets the job done on Lando, and he gets the job done on. Science as well goes for the cheeky dive bomb and Max Verstappen in the space of what what's that four corners has gone from fourth to second. But now this is Science coming back at the one time world champion. As to the inside, here he comes, Carlos Sainz, leader of the championship currently. Down the inside, retakes that P2 into turn one. Max is still on the inside, but Sainz is able to get the exit and gets ahead. But Max isn't done there. He's coming back. Both of these are on the soft tyres. Lando just holding back on those mediums, so he can just sit here and let these two fight each other out and ruin their tyre life. And Max just re overtakes Sainz there. Is now on to lap 9 into the pits from Charles Leclerc. In the meantime, in our race, we were just on our own, just staying 
the way of the DRS of of those behind Albon in the Williams as this is once again Sainz coming back at Max Verstappen round the outside can he get the exit though it doesn't look like he can and Verstappen holds that position now now Leclerc is on the mediums and Albon broke our DRS and tries to go to the outside but he locks that rear right tyre going into turn one and Magnussen has sent it right around the outside of him and now can Magnussen have a little look at us as we go through but unfortunately he couldn't and into the pits now into the pits is Max and Sainz now can the pit crew mix up the order here between these two Max again they both go to the mediums but Red Bull have got the stop and a Ferrari Ferrari funny and about again of course they are they're about to mess something up and now this is Magnussen trying to re overtake us look at the straight line speed difference I had as we chop him off we have I'm not very good at setup so we're using the Fox efforts and the max straight line speed one is just not good enough here and Magnussen gets the job done on us but locks up completely massive one that's going to be a huge flat spot for him as on to lap 12 Albon pits and followed in by Magnussen is it there? them two are going to try and do the undercut on us as we stay out for now and this is Lando on to lap 13 just how much further he has gone on those mediums compared to Sainz and Verstappen on the soft tyres of course but on to the hards go go Lando Leclerc is free but where is Sainz and where is Verstappen crucially and Lando Norris McLaren have got the strategy bang on there because Lando has done the overcut and got past both Max and Carlos but the only difference is as we get overtaken by Charles Leclerc the race leader but we're not going to make it easy for him and he gets to, he has to sit back but now going into the up to the final corner here he comes a different straight line speed we are going to pit this lap and get our mechanics to take a lot of downforce off the front wing of course there's nothing we can do about the rear wing but into the pits we come and we're going to be going on to hard times just like Lando but behind Carlos and Max both on the medium so they think the mediums can go to the end I don't think personally they can and of course starting on the mediums we have our own real option is to go to the hards so we'll see how that plays out later on in the Grand Prix but this is Albon like a bullet past us and the undercut has worked for Albon and he is past us Now then we're on the back of Albon, we need to do something here because we're so slow in a straight line, we're much better and we're through, we're much better since the pit stops and we've taken some off. But as I mentioned at the start of the race, there was a threat of rain towards the end of the Grand Prix, it's one to out 20 here and the rain has arrived, you can see on the screen. So could this turn into another spa? where it rains very much towards the end of the race of course that time we played the strategy last time out and ended up winning the race but we a point would do me now but we are so far behind you see 10 seconds to Gasly up the road this is like 26 now and the rain is coming down that much harder but not enough to trigger the pit stops for the intermediate tyres this was something I was worried about last night in Spa when the rain really wasn't coming down that much but lucky for us intermediate 
conditions did come that day. But for Ferrari and Charles Leclerc, Leclerc, he hasn't really been at the races this season. He's going to come round the corner and win the Italian Grand Prix. Lando Norris pulled away with those more durable hard tyres and it's side by side and Max Verstappen has denied Ferrari and the Defosi of a double podium on the line. Magnussen tries to go to our inside, we chop him off and we're going to come home for a very, very disappointing P11 and no points in Monza. stranger to the podium taking their place on top once again a sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari So it wasn't the most interesting Italian Grand Prix from my perspective anyway, we were just, just about staying in, in front of those behind us, we were losing so much time on the straights but we gained it back through the corners and we were just not quick enough to catch those in front. So really the race was for P2 between Lando, Max and Carlos, they kept the race very interesting, that means that the no score for us after the win in Belgium last time out has really hurt us and with just two rounds to go this 10 round season really shows how costly a bad result can be when you go back to before Silverstone after Canada we were top of the driver's standards we had a, okay we still got points but we had a poor Silverstone we won Spa and now we haven't even scored a point here and we're now 15 points behind Lando with the outside chance though 21 points behind Leclerc is massively close that gap so it's four points between the two Ferraris two rounds to go the next race in Mexico could really be the deciding factor of this season and of course you gotta remember we've, all right, we've also got the sprint in Brazil to round out the season and hopefully mix this up a little bit more Ferrari leading the constructors as well we didn't really help Lando out today he was very much fighting one-handed but Max has helped him out as well there beating Carlos on the line and we need to go to Mexico with hopefully a better better result we won there last season after a great strategy we got our first win there of course it was as well in the Aston Martin that has to be the aim now for the final two rounds if we realistically want our first world title and McLaren's first world title since Lewis Hamilton in 2008 so I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in Mexico goodbye